up ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? I'm back in front of the camera today because I'm going to bring my top five best beginner accordion plants. Now this list is based on my opinion only and uh, you may like it, you may love it. Um, drop me a comment down below what's your favorite beginner plant and let's get started. So my number one plant is Jungle Val. Now Jungle Val is super hardy. Um, this is a smaller piece. Um, I have huge pieces behind me. Um, this stuff just grows like crazy. You have a decent light and some substrate and this stuff's going to grow for you. Um, I dose my tanks once a week, but I have some tanks that I don't have any dosing uh, regimens in and this stuff grows. Um, it does put off runners just like a, a Amazon sword would. Um, and this stuff just takes off and will completely cover a tank. Um, as you can see, it's pretty much the whole background of my tank and it's only a month old. So yeah. Um, Jungle Val is my number five. My number four is Dwarf Aquarium Lily. Now you'll usually get this in a bulb, which is a little brown ball, um, and you just drop it in your tank and it's gonna grow. You don't have to plant it or anything. Um, but yeah, this stuff is awesome. Um, it brings a different color to your tank. Um, it's got the reddish, brownish hint to it. Um, but yeah, this stuff's awesome. You throw it in there, it's gonna start growing. Sometimes it takes a little longer and it does go dormant on you sometimes, but uh, this stuff will grow if you have light. Um, substrate helps, but you don't always need it. Um, this stuff will grow without substrate. It's been done before, um, but this stuff is awesome. Um, it'll shoot off these really long leaves and it'll go to the, to the top of your tank. Um, so sometimes you might wanna cut those. Maybe you like the look of them and you don't wanna cut them, but uh, it's an awesome plant. It's one of my favorites and that's why it's my number four. So my number three, is java fern. Um, this is a pretty sad little piece of java fern if you couldn't tell. Um, but that's kind of one of the reasons I don't really like java fern is because it's not the best looking plant. Um, don't get me wrong there's a lot of them that do look good and once they get established and grown they look awesome. But uh, as far as just going out and picking up one little plant most of the time you get stuck with something like this if you go to PetSmart or Petco um, if that's all that's available to you. And that's just a sad little piece and that's going to take you months and months and months to get a decent looking piece and that's why it's my number four but you can just put this stuff uh on anything you can put it on a log a rock you can just float it and this stuff's going to grow for you and that's why it's one of the best accordion plants out there number two is one of my all-time favorites and it's in every single tank that i have and that is anubius this is anubius nana and this like the java fern you can put anywhere put it on a log and some rocks and some driftwood. You can even plant the roots and leave this uh, rhizome above and it's gonna grow. Um, <laughs> this stuff just looks awesome too. Um, I do have some pieces in behind me but like I said I have them in all my other tanks in my fish room and this stuff just grows awesome. Um, it's a slow grower but um, it's just a good looking plant um, especially on your bare bottom tanks when you just want to throw something in. Um, but yeah Anubius my number two. And my number one it's not everybody's number one and it's kind of hard to find in some places but that is water wisteria and the reason it's my number one is because it's super 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 easy to grow and it has so many uses um, and what I mean by that is you can float this stuff or you can plant it um, I have a piece planted behind me that's growing here and this piece has been floated um, I use it in my guppy breeding tanks um, it just shoots its roots down here like this is a pretty newer one um, but it's just great cover for fry and stuff and it just grows awesome and it looks awesome. Um, a lot of the other plants like anacaris and stuff that float and grow really fast, um, they get kind of brown and just ugly and that's what I don't like and that's what I do like about water wisteria. Um, I don't dose anything in my guppy tanks or anything and this stuff grows like mad. So definitely check out water wisteria if you're looking for that floating plant that you want to cover for some fry if you don't like to use fake plants. But uh, yeah. so. That's my top five. Um, if you have a different top five or you think the ones should have been in here, uh, drop me a comment down below and we'll see you next time.